products like caviar and vodka that were once considered Russian delicacies in the US are now being called into question with Putin's invasion of Ukraine. For example, the past 20 years, the Michelin-starred New York City restaurant Caviar Rus has become well known for spreads fit for an oligarch. But amid government bans on Russian imports, that reputation is now coming back to bite the family that owns the restaurant. It turns out they actually immigrated from Ukraine and their caviar never came from Russia. It comes from Germany. In fact, no caviar in America comes from Russia. Government sanctions against fish from Russia, like the salty chic fish eggs, are actually more performative than anything else. Caviar imported from Russia worldwide has dropped to a tiny fraction of the global volume it commanded during the 1990s. Russia popularized caviar from wild-caught sturgeon. That fish species swam in the Caspian and Black Seas, mostly, and fishermen cut out the roe from the sturgeon and often tossed the fish back into the water to die. Both Russia and Iran in particular became huge producers of the expensive wild-caught caviar. But after the sturgeon population fell 30%, producing caviar from the fish was banned in the early 2000s. Experts suggest that 2008 was the last time Russian caviar was served in America. Still, there are sanctions, and in 2021, the U.S. imported $1.2 billion worth of seafood from Russia. Most of that was pollock that sold at fast food chains, or smaller fish used for feed at fish farms. Not one speck of that was caviar. Now, seafood from Russia is broadly facing sanctions from countries looking to punish Russia for its unprovoked attack on Ukraine. Most high-quality caviar is now produced in farms located across Europe and in Hungary, Italy, Greece, Germany, as well as stateside from California to Kentucky. Costco sources its own Ocetra caviar from a Bulgarian farm in the Black Sea. The largest supply of caviar in the world, meanwhile, comes from one farm in China. It accounts for 35% of global caviar sales. Its tins are shipped overnight around the world to 23 countries, including 22 Michelin-starred restaurants in France, as well as five in New York. Russian President Vladimir Putin himself has even eaten the Chinese-produced caviar at least twice, once at the 2016 G20 summit in Hangzhou, where the caviar farm is located, and the other during a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping. The Chinese farm was actually set up by Bill Holst, a third-generation corn farmer based in Wisconsin. Chinese investors approached Holst, who had been turning around other failed caviar farms, to help them transform a small sturgeon farm in the country into China's first caviar operation. Holst became the largest individual shareholder and the only one from America. He sold his remaining stake in 2018. He reinvested the profit in three farms in France, Italy, and Germany. His caviar ranges from $400 a pound to as much as $2,000 a pound. But even with the rising price of transportation, fuel, and labor, the future of the caviar business is bright, he says. Demand for caviar remains very high.